Michael Cohen, President Trump's longtime personal attorney, said Tuesday he violated campaign finance laws in coordination and at the direction of a candidate for federal office, an indirect reference to the president. Cohen pleaded guilty to bank fraud, tax fraud and campaign finance law violations in the Southern District of New York. While reviewing the charges, Cohen told the judge that he made a $130,000 payment at the direction of the candidate for federal office to keep someone quiet and was later repaid by that same candidate. At no point did Cohen refer to Trump by name, but the account matches Cohen's payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels in October 2016. Cohen additionally told the judge he made a contribution of $150,000 at the direction of the candidate, which aligns with his payment to secure the rights to former Playboy model Karen McDougal's account of an alleged affair with Trump. The Justice Department, DOJ, alleged in a court filing in the case that Cohen coordinated with one or more members of the campaign about the payments. It does not specify how many campaign employees, or who besides the candidate Cohen may have worked with. The payments ensured that two unnamed women did not speak to the press prior to the 2016 election, the DOJ alleges. The documents appear to reference Trump as individual one saying that the person began a presidential campaign on or about June 16, 2015. In a statement after Cohen's court appearance, Deputy U.S. Attorney Robert Kiyosami alleged that the president's former lawyer worked to pay money to silence two women who had information that, Cohen, believed would be detrimental to the 2016 campaign and to the candidate. Both payments were intended to influence the 2016 election, prosecutors said. Cohen later submitted falsified invoices to the candidate's company to be reimbursed for the payments, prosecutors said. They did not provide specifics, but appeared to be referring to the Trump organization. Kiyosami said that Cohen's crimes demonstrated a pattern of lies and dishonesty over an extended period of time. They are significant in their own right, they are particularly significant when done by a lawyer, Kiyosami said. He added that Cohen decided he was above the law and for that he is going to pay a very, very serious price. Prosecutors did not take questions, and Cohen did not stop to speak with reporters as he exited the courthouse. Cohen pleaded guilty to five counts of tax evasion, one count of making a false statement to a financial institution, and one count of making an unlawful corporate contribution. He also pleaded guilty to one count of making an excessive campaign contribution on October 27, 2016, which is the same date he finalized a payment to Daniels as part of a non-disclosure agreement over an alleged affair with Trump. The $130,000 payment to Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford, was completed just weeks before the 2016 election. She is now suing Cohen and the president for defamation and to void the non-disclosure agreement about the affair. Trump initially denied knowing anything about the payment to Daniels, but later acknowledged that he reimbursed Cohen for the expense which he insisted had nothing to do with the campaign. Cohen is due in court in December for sentencing. The president was en route to a campaign rally in West Virginia when Cohen pleaded guilty. Thanks for watching. What did you think of this video? Let us know in the comments section below. You can also subscribe for more videos like these in your inbox. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more of the coolest things that you never knew existed at the best prices, Please feel free to visit www.atthesmall.com once again that is www.atthesmall.com If you are seeking the best in facial and clear skin regiments and products for women and men including an opportunity to earn residual income, please visit our partner at www.jdro.myrnf.com. All links are in the description box below. Share this video with your friends and family. Since you're watching, we have a small favor to ask. More people are viewing our videos more than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast. And unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall. We want to keep our journalism as open as we can. So you can see why we need to ask for your help. Our videos and reports takes a lot of time money and hard work to produce. Our investigative reporting uncovers unethical behavior and social injustice, that helps to hold governments, companies and individuals to account. Through this we can, together, create meaningful change in the world. We do it because we believe our perspective matters, because it might well be your perspective too. For as little as one dollar, you can support us, 
and it only takes a minute. Thank you. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this video? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the truth or guidance or need a prayer request or studies, Please visit followyeshva.com at www.follow y e s h u a now.com. Please note that we have changed to a new YouTube channel, the link is in the description box below. Please subscribe to the new channel, as this one will no longer have new videos and reports posted to it anymore.